Uh, my background is mechanical engineering, worked for Massey Ferguson in the UK in the 70s and 80s, a long time ago now. Came to Australia in 1988 uh, with a wife and young family. Uh, worked in the mining, oil and gas industries for a number of years. But then found after working in that industry for a number of years with some ruthless individuals that didn't care about the customer, the staff or the suppliers, I figured that, look, hey, that's not the way to treat people. People buy off people, companies don't buy off companies. So I figured that just by treating with people with respect, uh, with compassion, whether they be customers, whether they be suppliers, and more importantly, whether they're staff, I figured that I could actually do that a lot better. In the mid-90s, started ADG uh, with my wife, uh, and we ambled along for a couple of years like anybody does in starting a business. There were some good times, there were some not so good times, but we were basically still aware of service is king. And service means not just saying that you give good service, but you actually really do. That means you care at five o'clock on a Sunday morning if you've got an inquiry or a problem, you have to deal with it. But it was only until the late 90s and the early 2000s I actually took some partners on board, one of them being Graham Hine, uh, a partner now in Jura Composites Australasia, that we really started to hit our straps. Uh, my background, I'm a corporate accountant, CPA. I've uh, been involved in the industry for 20, 20 odd years and a uh, frustrated entrepreneur at heart, I guess. I had a few dabbles at business over the years um, before I stumbled across Andy uh, through football. Uh, we came across Dura Composites basically looking at various other industries and businesses that we could get involved with and we really liked the space, we liked the products and we thought it was something that was exciting that we, we could have an impact with. I became aware of the composites industries when helping people in the mining, oil and gas sectors. It's used as grating, in fact you can see pieces behind us. Uh, Anti-slip, uh, doesn't corrode, lightweight, non-conductive. So products with, with a list of benefits and one can easily be attracted because you've got lots of opportunities to help people in the various sectors. Mining, oil and gas, general industrial, uh, timber, architecture, marine. I like products which actually don't give as many boundaries. Uh, I think what drew us to the products uh, in, in the composite industry in general is the fact that it's such an innovative industry. Even though it's been around for a while, uh, the range of products that are available are enormous and, and really you can do anything with, the, with these products. And uh, looking at what was available currently through our own product suite in the different areas, uh, it's quite exciting and uh, customers can come to us with an issue, a problem and I think we can use these products to solve a lot of those issues for them. Uh, in our case, for instance, we're focusing on the industrial sector, the marine sector, composite timber and architectural areas of just the composite products business. In the timber uh, product segment, for instance, the product there uses 90% recycled materials, so great for sustainability. The industrial side of the products, uh, they're some of the best uh, anti-slip products in the world, such that great safety attributes. In the marine side of things, uh, our Jura Composites, we can provide some innovative, again, composite timbers in the marine industry, which are 90% recycled materials, and also we some, do some innovative decking materials. So these are winning products that have got some global appeal.